Hello everybody, this is my second video on Google Apps Scripts. In the top you can see the link to the first one if you want. This time I will show you how to export your calendar events into a spreadsheet using a simple, very simple script. Besides, I will introduce the use of triggers, triggers to automate the update of the sheet when you change, add or remove an event, even using your mobile phone. At the end, you will be able uh, to have a spreadsheet like this, linked to a calendar, like this one, and with uh, the ability to change automatically if you update the right event uh, in this manner. The video is divided in five short actions, or more precisely, actions, like shown in the slide. But before starting the configuration process, you have to check the requirements. It's very simple. Do you have a Google account? Do you have an internet connection? Or do you have a personal computer? This is valid only for the installation process. And finally, do you have a browser that can execute uh, Google Apps, in this case Drive, Calendar and Sheet? Let's start with the first point, the creation of a new calendar connected with the activity you want to export. It can be your job, hobby, study or whatever you want. Once logged in your Google account, you can click uh, this icon and then select Calendar. Add other calendar by clicking here. Select New Calendar. Put a name. Put a name in this case work and create calendar ok select work and integrate calendar this is the calendar ID and it's more important for the process, so process of installation so copy Now, you can insert the event from the calendar. If you don't like the color assigned, assigned you can change by click here. Ok, add one or more event from the calendar and change the existing ones if they were well available with another calendar, in this case it's the full calendar. And save. Ok, add another one. Ok. Now it's the turn of the spreadsheet. Go in Google Drive and select a path. With the right button of your mouse, go in Google Sheet 
and select blank spreadsheet. You can uh, rename the untitled spreadsheet with, uh, for example, a new name. In this case, works time table. Go in the menu at the top, select tools, script editor. You will see now uh, an editor and uh, an empty function inside. It's now necessary to fill up with uh, some code. The code is uh, in my GitHub account. The link will appear in the, the bottom of the screen. And you have to copy all the text of the file called code underscore n dot gs the code doesn't know your time zone offset in my case, Italy is UTC plus 2. And above all, it doesn't know your data. So you have to teach it in the section called settings. In particular, you have to put here your calendar ID. If you want to change the sheet title with your name, it's not necessary. and the starting date and end date because code retrieves events between two dates for the specific calendar ID. Give a name to your script and save it. Now it's a time to run the script run function and export this function. You will see a little window that uh, <coughs> requires you to review the permissions. And then an alert. Okay, check the spreadsheet and you see that it is yet empty. Return in the script editor and run again. Okay. It works. Finally, you can add a, a trigger. Do, do, to do this uh, return in the script editor, click edit and current project triggers. Click here to add one now, select from calendar and then change your email with the calendar ID. Save. If you return in the calendar and, for example, change an event and save it, you will see that the, the sheets change and update with the new, the new finish and date. In the next weeks uh, I'm going to improve the script by adding new features. 
In particular, the title of the articles may be as follows. Check the updates on my site at raiwnic.altervista.org. And thanks for watching.